Many years ago, this dress caused major debates all over the world. The question seemed simple. What color is this dress? Some thought it was black and blue. Others insisted it was white and gold. But the truth was far more complicated than anyone realized. So let's unravel this mystery. But first, what even are colors? Colors are not inherent properties of matter. They're how our brains interpret light. When light hits an object, certain wavelengths are absorbed. Others are reflected and enter our eyes where cones cells translate them into color signals. Take the sky for example. It appears blue because sunlight collides with atmospheric molecules, scattering shorter blue wavelengths in all directions. The sun itself emits white light which is a mix of all visible colors, but by the time its light reaches our eyes, the atmosphere has scattered so much blue that the sun often looks yellowish from Earth's surface. Colors shift depending on the medium. When diving underwater you will notice reds vanish first, because water absorbs long wavelengths rapidly, leaving blues dominant at depth. They call this selective absorption. Humans perceive color using three types of cone cells, tuned to red, green, and blue wavelengths. But not everyone sees the same way. Color blindness occurs when cones are missing or faulty, altering perception. While there can be more than a million colors, our vision is limited to a tiny slice of the electromagnetic spectrum. We can see ultraviolet like bees or infrared like some snakes. Dogs, for example, can see muted hues. They're dichromatic lacking red sensitive cones, even language shapes color perception. Ancient Greek or Chinese texts never mentioned blue. To many cultures it was a shade of green or black, except the Egyptians who invented blue dye 4000 years ago. Similarly, orange as a color term arrived in Europe after the fruit. Before that it was just another shade of red. That's why red hairs don't actually look red. Their hair is technically orange. But back to the dress. Why did it split the internet? Well, that boils down to ambiguous lighting in your brain's guesswork. Look at this illustration. Believe it or not, squares A and B are identical shades of gray. But because of the shadow, your brain might insist B is lighter. This checker shadow illusion exploits how we unconsciously correct for lighting. The dress photo triggered similar confusion. Its washed out lighting gave no clear clues. Was it a blue black dress in warm indoor light? Or a white gold one under a bluish shadow? Your brain picks a side based on time any differences in cone cell sensitivity, screen settings, or even your surroundings. Those who assumed the dress was in shadow discounted blue tones, seeing white gold. Others saw it as overexposed, interpreting faded black as blue. But the definitive answer, the dress is royal blue and black, confirmed by its owner and original photographer. The viral photos light distorted reality, proving color isn't just physics, it's a biological, psychological and cultural puzzle, one that turned a simple question into a global debate. 